Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today, we are reading for November 20th, 21st, and 22nd, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, for my Geminis. Hello, my Geminis. Now, you know that I'm using my two Radley Valentine decks, and then I'm going to pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, I will, the main reading will come from my Angel Tarot cards, and then I will pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? Okay. The 21st, we have Sagittarius season starting. I have Gemini in Sagittarius season, so please take a look. Also, we have Scorpio, we have Ver, uh, Venus entering into Scorpio on the 21st. So I think that the uh, weekend could be a little emotional, so we'll see. I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job, deliver the message. Three cards face down. First one is reversed. Let's see what we have for my Geminis. First card up, Ace of Earth. Now... We know about Earth. Earth is our Taurus, our Capricorn, our Virgo, solid something you can touch, money type, job type. So my Geminis, if you're looking for a job, this is going to be a great weekend to look for that and to actually, you know, so get your, get whatever it is, make your applications, go talk to people because aces have new starts, new beginnings. Ace is about money. This is Ace of Earth is about money coming in. And if this has been something that's been worrying worrying you, then this is you know and, and the um, you know the opportunities, the possibilities are because you know are blah, blah, are um, could be solved with job or work. Again, I feel like this is very good, strong job money type of energy coming to you for this weekend. Okay. Anyway, an inflow of abundance, a promising business venture important documents or contracts. Your next card here, the seven of earth. Yeah, this is definitely, I mean, there is a lot of job earth energy here, okay? Sevens have some sort of a, you know, have that divine umbrella over it. So again, you know, you do your work, you do your work, preparation to meet opportunity, definition of luck, you know, and there's this divine type of umbrella over it. So what I, if you're looking for a job, this is the weekend to go and do this. If you're looking, you know, this could also be something to do with your home because it is something you can touch if you're looking for a new home. But I really feel like this is more about finding a new income and this is about money coming in to you, okay? And this is also, maybe you're going to hear from places that you've already interviewed with because this is, you've been putting out, you've been putting it all out, and now it's supposed to be coming back to you. So this is about, you know, what you what you have given should be coming back to you. But this is definitely about work energy. And I would just, I would really say, my Geminis, if you're looking for a job, or if you have a sideline, a side business, I feel like money's coming to you through that. Okay, so I really feel money for you, my Geminis. Anyway, here we go. Last card, the star. Now, Archangel Jophiel. Now, write name down, but the star, make a wish upon a star. You know, this is an Archangel energy. This is, you know, this is happy times. This is, you know, I mean, this weekend, um, you know, should even be, I feel like this is, you know, kind of a celebratory type of time because whatever, if you were looking for the job or if there was a settle, maybe this is about a settlement. Maybe this is about, you know, just some sort of a, an award, a reward coming to you, except that this feels extremely, extremely, you know, I mean, this feels very money oriented. This feels very job oriented, career oriented. You know, whatever that is, however it is that you get or that you've been wanting to make money, this feels like money is coming to you. And it's there's kind of a celestial blessing on this also. Uh, but yet at the same time, remember to say thank you, but also to remember that this also has a, you know, that, that um, wish type of energy to it too. So maybe this is, maybe you've been, wanting, praying, wishing for this to come, and it's, it's like this is the time for it to come, 
okay? Sagittarius season, especially as we're getting closer to that Aquarius, Jupiter with Aquarius, things, I think that things, you know, while it could be an intense weekend, I think things will be turning around a little bit, especially with the money situation, okay? So, happy times. Make positive, optimistic, long-term plans on the right path. Now, let's go on and do... So, I mean, that's, that's very, very positive, especially if you're looking for that new job, okay? Here we go. Or if you're trying to sell your house. Now, the Four of Gabriel, that's been coming up, um, but this is, this is reversed. Four of Gabriel is our fire energy. And again, Sagittarius, Aries, and it's also our Leo. Now, this is also, fours have that legs, you know, the four legs of a table, so there's some stability. So there could be some stability in that money situation because of that new job. So, you know, so whatever that is, it makes you feel like you're in a better place. It, you know, it takes away some of that worry that you've been possibly experiencing over that money situation. But this is also reversed. And this is about celebrating too. So time for a celebration, abundant rewards for hard work, release yourself from burdensome situations. So this, if you're looking for a job, if you're, you know, this is the weekend to go after it. If you've been interviewing, if you interviewed over, you know, if you interviewed Thursday, Friday, I, I'm thinking they're making some positive decisions about you Friday, Saturday. So maybe if you haven't heard anything Friday, I think you'd hear something positive on maybe Monday, Tuesday, because this is all very positive for your money situation. I mean, I could possibly talk a little longer, but it's, it's really what I'm getting. <laughs> so let's go on. Here we go. We're going to pull one crystal card. Oh, are you? <laughs> okay, let's, here we go. Well, okay. Anyway, here, let me shuffle these again because that wasn't a clear cut for my Geminis. Now, I'm not telling you to go buy these crystals. But I think it's kind of fun. And if you have them, okay, two cards wanted to come out. Okay, here we go. First card is Blue Topaz. Finding a spiritual ally, higher wisdom, abundance, forgiveness. Your next card is Blue Kyanite. Connecting with animals, telepathic abilities, finding your true path, finding clarity. So, if you have any of these, they'll help you out this weekend, okay? Okay. Okay. I mean, you know, it, it, when it's really right out there, my Geminis, it's like it is right out there. So, I hope that helps whoever that needed to help. Anyway, my Geminis, if you enjoy my readings, remember the button. Like, share, subscribe. It does help me. So, thank you. As always, my Geminis, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.